Hey VC, it's Travis, back again with a massive vinyl update. have over 40 albums to go through and share with you guys today. Um, it's been a great week for digging. And I want to keep this video to a reasonable length, so I'll probably kind of just flip through these albums and show them. Probably won't talk a whole lot about them. Um, just don't want this to be an hour-long video. So, all sorts of finds from all over. I'll kind of discuss where I got them from and stuff, but um, I'll probably utilize some editing techniques and stuff to kind of make this video a little bit quicker. Um, the first set here was from an estate sale actually right next door to me so I got up early and went over there and I um, wasn't really expecting to find anything but I actually found uh, some records um, I was hoping that they would have more of course but um, I'm happy with what I got because these were my first garage sale slash estate sale finds of this year and possibly ever I don't remember ever getting a record from a garage sale before so this was a nice change of pace and I didn't really have to leave the neighborhood to to score some vinyl. So, uh, first one here, Impressions, is kind of a compilation. The Impressions. So that was a nice find. Uh, Buddy Holly and the Crickets, 20 Golden Greats. Buddy Holly Lives. And this is the Shaft soundtrack, performed by Soul Man and the Brothers, kind of instrumental versions of uh, the Shaft soundtrack, originally by Isaac Hayes. This is really good. The one and only online purchase here picked up Frigid Pink, their self-titled debut album here. Really good. I'm very excited to have this now. So last Saturday I went to La Crosse, Wisconsin to go see my cousin Nick Shattuck perform. He's a singer-songwriter living out in Southern California now. He came home to do a little homecoming show. So it was good to see him. I had a lot of fun. Um, but beforehand I did some digging at an antique shop called Caledonia Street Antique Mall. And there's a bunch of crates and tubs of records there. I haven't been there for about a year or so, and I uh, walked in, and the guy just made some comment about, oh, our record guy is here, or something like that. And I was just kind of blown away that he remembered me. Uh, like I said, it's probably been about a year since I've been there last, and I've only been there one time, so I'm in uh, no way a regular, you know. But I um, walked away with some cool finds. I found Electric Comic Book by... Blues Magoos, and also Never Going Back to Georgia by the Blues Magoos, an upgrade copy of Paul Simon's Still Crazy After All These Years, the Isaac Hayes Movement, I was really stoked about this one, picked up Harry Nilsson's Greatest Hits, Earth, Wind and Fire, Gratitude, this one was a blind buy, it's a rare bird self-titled album here, still need to check this out, looked interesting, Adam and the Ants, Prince Charming, and Ian Hunter, his self-titled debut album there. Then on Sunday, me and my girlfriend went to Minneapolis, Minnesota to kind of get out of town and celebrate our anniversary together. And I uh, found some time to do some digging. Uh, we stopped at Electric Fetus, um, which is a popular record store up in that area. Um, I've only been there maybe once or twice before. Uh, did walk away with some cool finds this time. Um, found Faces, a nod is as good as a wink to a blind horse. This is an Australian press, too. A great album. Picked up Close to the Bone by Tom Tom Club. Procol Harum, their self-titled album here. Found a pair of Fleetwood Mac albums here. Mystery to Me and Killin' House. Also found the Blues Project, Projections. Been looking for this for a while. And also an upgrade copy of Mott the Hoople, Mott. And then we went to another antique shop. This one was one I've never been to before. It was called the Mall of St. Paul. And got a tip to go check that out from the guy who supplies my local honey hole. Um, because he actually has a dealer space there, uh, and a whole another booth, another honey hole. And uh, so I was very excited to go check it out, and he was kind of telling me about it. He was saying that he had about twice the inventory of what he carries uh, here locally, um, and for sure he did. I mean, there was a ton of records to go through. Um, you know, I didn't have a ton of time. I was really flipping through it really quickly. I did find a ton of great stuff, though. Um, but that antique mall in particular just was like plump full of antiques and they actually had a lot of records not just from the honey hole part of it um, they had several other little bins um, kind of scattered throughout the store and then they had like crates on the floor just like almost in every room and then there was a downstairs it was just very overwhelming I didn't get a chance to really dig through it all but um, it's something that you'd have to go and make a day of really to dig through it all I think um, but so I spent most of my time in the the honey hole portion of it, and uh, walked away with like I said some really cool finds. So picked up it's a beautiful day, 
self-titled debut album there. I was looking for this one. Just recently picked up the Mary Maiden. The 77s, this is All Fall Down. Uh, this is one that someone showed a really long time ago and just kind of caught my eye. Don't really know a whole lot about it though. Um, so definitely have to check that out. It was kind of a blind buy. I was really stoked about this one, Susie and the Banshees, Tinderbox. This is uh, my first Susie and the Banshees album here. Marianne Faithful, Dangerous Acquaintances. This is a recommendation from Jeff Ortiz. And a couple local acts, uh, local in the, the Minneapolis area. I've got Suburbs, Dream Hog, this is a little EP. And also Last American Virgin by Skunk on Twin Tone Records. Stephen Wolf at Your Birthday Party. Psychedelic Furs, Forever Now. Ozzy Osbourne, Diary of a Madman, still in the shrink wrap too. Sugarloaf, their self-titled album here. This is one that Craig just recently showed. So I decided to pick that up. Simple Minds Live in the City of Lights. This is a UK import. Midnight Oil, Diesel and Dust. And B.B. King, Live at the Regal. This is another one from the same antique mall. This is one of those crates I was talking about that was kind of just in a, in a room. Uh, it's Roberta Flack, First Take. Also found a couple 45s. I found Rebel Rouser by Dwayne Eddy on the Jamie Records. Backed with Stockin. Also Norman Greenbaum, Spirit in the Sky. Backed with Milk Cow. This last batch of records is from a pair of half price bookstores. Um, I've actually had a lot of luck digging at half price books in the past, and uh, the Twin Cities area has a ton of locations. Uh, we only stopped at two, but um, found some cool stuff. Found uh, Jefferson Airplane, Volunteers. Found an upgrade copy of Iron Butterfly with Panera and Rhino, Metamorphosis. Uh, Jethro Tull, Aqualung, really nice condition. Yaz, Upstairs at Eric's. Found Dag Nasty in their album Field Day. This is a blind buy. Can't wait to listen to this. Simple Minds, Sparkle in the Rain. Richie Havens, Alarm Clock. And a pair of Donovan albums, The Hurdy Gurdy Man and Baraba Joggle. If I pronounced that correctly. And the last one here is Talk Talk, The Color of Spring. It's also a gold stamp promo. So that was the entire record haul. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, I also made a point to stop at Ikea and I picked up another 4x4 Expedit, much like the one behind me here. I still need to get that assembled and start filling it up. I'll probably do a room tour soon, hopefully. Uh, but until then, I have a ton of listening to do. So again, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Uh, everyone, take care. Have a great day. Peace.